What's up everybody, this is Harry, and I want to go over some different cement concrete reinforcing options that are available out there. <clears throat> so, in case you don't know, cement concrete has great compression strength. If you push down on concrete, it's very strong. But if you try and bend it, um, it'll break, it'll snap, because it has no tensile strength. So normally, in a cement job, concrete, you maybe have a slab that's four inches thick, and you'll have a rebar right in the center of that slab, and the rebars will be tied together, and they'll have uh, like a checker pattern. So that's the rebar here. Now another option that's really good is this here. This is basalt rebar. This is rebar made from lava rock. And the good thing about this is it won't rust. It's much lighter than steel and it's stronger than steel. And another great benefit is this stuff will come on a roll. So you can get a roll of it 300 feet long and you can cut it to your own length, whatever length you require on the job. So that's uh, a pretty nice thing also if you're building around uh, the coastal areas where there's uh, salt air the salt will rust the steel and eventually that will break down the cement and uh, make your cement weak if you have this basalt rebar in there you won't get that problem because there's no rusting with rock also this is great for any uh, areas where there's chemicals and things this is immune to chemicals as well. So some other basalt items I wanted to show are these meshes here. So this is a sample pack that I ordered from this company. And um, here you can see the different uh, patterns that they have. So this is uh, the name in this pattern and they have all these different patterns you can see from my hand how big these are here's another and they feel pretty stiff especially the larger ones I think they're made with like a resin I'm not sure exactly how they're made but it's really strong there's some other patterns they have so they have all different kinds of mats you can see the names on some of these. There's another weave they have. So there are all kinds here. I suggest if you're planning on using any of this stuff, you order yourself a sample pack and see for yourself which one's going to work best for your project. Now this is another great option they have here is this three ply rope it's basalt rope and <clears throat> this rope is used in a lot of dome projects where domes similar to this dome that i'm building here will have one layer of cement put on then they'll wrap around in a pattern um, with the three ply basalt rope then they'll spray or apply another layer of cement on top of that and that way they're getting their tensile strength from the rope so that's a another great product um, here you have different lengths of basalt fiber chop so if you look here you can see the length of the fiber chop and so they come different lengths this one's an 18 millimeter. Here's a, a 50 millimeter. You can kind of see the lengths there. <clears throat> so it's all fiber chop. Um, I ordered this pack, this sample pack first, before I decided to get the 50 pound bag of basalt fiber chop. So this is what I've been using in my dome project. I've been mixing up my cement and putting in uh, like a big handful of this stuff in there. 
um, into here so that's the dome project so this all the cement you see here has the basalt fiber chop mixed into it now lastly a great product here is this helix micro rebar the helix micro rebar <coughs> rebar was designed to replace regular rebar ain't that something so anyway it's not a single little strand but it's in these bunches here so what you do is you take this helix micro rebar and you throw it into your cement mix and you let it mix up and then you can just pour into any form you're looking to make whether it's a slab or you're doing some walls or whatever it is and what will happen is this stuff was actually designed to make bomb proof structures so it's really strong so instead of having uh, one rebar inside for example you have a, a four inch slab of concrete and you'll have a rebar right in the center of that this here will be in every which way direction from top to bottom so you're not going to have just one rebar in the center but you'll have thousands of these going in every direction just like that in the cement and that gives it so much more strength than regular rebar so on their website they actually show a video of them doing a test where they have a regular slab of cement with rebar in it and they put 10 pounds of uh, c4 explosives on it and it blows a giant hole in the concrete and you see all the rebar is all bent and everything they do the same test with a slab of concrete with this micro rebar in it the bomb goes off and the re and the um, cement barely uh, is even cracked. It, there's barely a crack that shows up. That's how much powerful uh, this is in comparison. So I said, uh, all right, I want to build my house out of that. <laughs> so one test that I'm doing currently is I made aircrete. I'd never seen anyone do any test with aircrete with helix micro rebar in it. So I poured some uh, aircrete in this box. I have uh, regular aircrete with no reinforcing fibers in it. And I have uh, the same aircrete with this Helix Micro Rebar in here. And I just want to compare the two and see how well this Micro Rebar works with aircrete. I know already it works with regular concrete. What I'm curious is to how well it'll work with the aircrete. So that's a test that I'm doing. But otherwise, that's it for now. I just wanted to show everyone the different products that are available for adding into your cement work to give you your tensile strength. Uh, there's, there's more than just the iron rebar available. Like I said, these basalt rebars are really good stuff so i highly recommend this especially in salt air salt air areas anyway that's it for now this is harry and i'll catch you guys later peace out